what is up guys we are back again it's been a while with the fr hard 2 audio show where we talk about stewardship impact and legacy i'm freddie hard of course and what i wanted to do is a lot's been going on not only in the world but in my life relating to business and my spiritual life and all that stuff and i had somebody come up to me the other day and they said well why'd you stop making your videos and i told them well because i've been extremely busy but they said whenever you get your free time make sure that you start back on it and i don't necessarily have a bunch of free time but i do see the value that it brought to some people so i wanted to get back in the swing of things and got and bring you guys uh content that brought you value so today what i wanted to talk about is execution and what i mean by execution is going forward with a plan to try to reach a goal and so i've seen it a lot in business i've seen it in politics because i've been involved with the whole elections and everything and the main thing I see is that people have resources and people have ideas, but it's the execution which helps them get to where they want to go. And I had already seen this before in my own life because I'll tell you, and anybody who went to high school with me will probably laugh, I was not that good as a football player my junior year of high school. But my mindset was, okay, I want to be the best football player they can be. Actually, I'll be honest with you. My mindset was, I wanted to play in the NFL from the first time I put a pair of football pads on. And so with that being said, the reason my mindset was that was because I wanted to be the best. But it wasn't my mindset that got me the opportunity to go play college, got me the opportunity to work out for NFL teams. And while I didn't make the NFL, I got really close in working out for teams. It was my execution. I tell people all the time that, again, this is just my life. I'm not going to speak on anybody else's life. That when it came to lifting weights, when it came to studying, when it came to watching film, my dad always told me, control what you can control. And on top of that, he always said, you can either be really big, really fast, or really strong. And so I was decently big. I was not that fast. So I wanted to be in control of what I could control and be as strong as I possibly could. And so with being strong, studying film, learning plays, learning techniques... For me, it was all about execution. And so whenever I started my marketing agency at in uh, 2019, really the tail end of 2019, for me, it was all about execution. And I think that that's what separated me from other companies where I'm not the best at what I do. I'll be the first to tell you that. Um, you can probably find somebody who does stuff for me. I'm not the cheapest. You can find people who do who do stuff cheaper than I do. But what I take pride in is the plan in which my company executes to get the job done. And so I'll tell anybody who wants to start a business, wants to start a ministry, there are a lot of people starting things because they've understood that the system is a little bit different. And now they, with the internet, right now they have the ability to start things, especially with the free time on their hands. But anything I'll tell, one thing I would tell anybody is this, that your execution is what's going to take you over the top. There's a quote here that I have by Tony Junzi, it says, no excuses, no explanation. You don't win on emotion, you win on execution. And I think execution is very over, is overlooked a lot of times in today's world. I think that there are a lot of people who take pride in what they've done in the past. They take pride in the people they know. And while that's all great and dandy, at the end of the day, your execution is really what's going to separate you from everybody else. I can have an athlete, I can have a business person who can talk a great game, who can have a lot of money, who can have the best trainer when it relates to football and athletics, but it comes down to executing. What are they doing to get the job done? And so this one's real quick. I think a lot of these are going to be a lot shorter now unless I'm interviewing somebody, but that's what I would tell anybody is... It never matters about your plan or about the resources if your execution isn't there. So if there's, if, I hope you got some value from this. I hope that you go and execute on whatever you do to the best of your ability for God's glory. Have a great day and God bless.